So this is kind of breaking news right here. So it's very topical because what did we see this week? We saw a senator, Elizabeth Warren, claim that she's a minority. She's an Indian. Woo! And she got all kinds of advantage, it turns out, to her Indianness in the academic setting. Right? That's what seems to have happened. At a professorial level, she became... <laughs> she got advantage in academic professorship because of a minority status. So let's have a look. So Harvard University is back in the news today. And um, it's, it, this, is, this is interesting because it's looking like a challenge of the 14th Amendment. Um, affirmative action might be on trial at the Supreme Court and guess what a 4-3 I'm sorry 5-4 conservative judgeship <laughs> there you go liberals there's your chickens coming home to roost you got a 5-4 conservative bench that's going to rule on affirmative action it looks like so what is the case so Harvard University Dean testified. This is, this is October 17. This is two days ago, a day ago, yesterday. Harvard University Dean testified that the school has different SAT scores. <laughs> Hold on a second. It's windy out. D different SAT score standards for prospective students based on factors such as race and sex and insists that they, their practice is not discriminatory. As a trial alleging racism against Asian American applicants begins this week. So Harvard is being sued based on racism because it discriminated against Asian students in terms of admission into the school, right? And what exactly happened? Ivy League school has was sued in 2014 by group students for fair admissions, which claims the Asian students, despite top-notch academic records, had the lowest admission rate amongst any race, right? So is it just an allegation, right? Or is there, sorry, <laughs> Or is there statistical evidence to suggest that it's true? Well, there is statistical evidence to suggest that it's true. Asian Americans only receive a... So, the dean said, Harvard sends out recruitment letters to African American, Native American, and Hispanic scholars with mid-range SAT scores around 1,100 right, on math and verbal combined, out of a possible 1,600. So if you're Native American, African American, or Hispanic, 1,100's good for you, out of a possible 1,600. But what about if you're Asian, Asian or, or white, what happens? <laughs> Can't make this shit up. Asian Americans only receive a recruitment, a recruitment letter if they score 215 points higher. 1350 for women and 1380 for men. So Asian American men have to score 215 points higher on the SAT to be considered for Harvard. Statistical evidence from the mouth of the dean. That's racial, racial discrimination. Oh, okay, what else? Fitzgerald explains a similar process for white students in states that don't see a lot of Harvard attendees, like Montana and Nevada. Students in those states would receive a recruitment letter if they had at least 1310 on their SAT. That's 210 points higher than a Native American, a black, or a Hispanic. 
That's racial discrimination, plain and simple, insists John Hughes, a lawyer for the students for fair admissions who challenged the dean. It's not, the dean insisted. He said the school targeted, targeted certain groups in order to break the cycle Ugh. and tried to convince students to apply to Harvard. Break the cycle? What cycle? What cycle? What is he talking about? Didn't we have a president of the United States of America, the highest office, black, white, of black descent, right? What cycle? The cycle was broken. Right? Affirmative action is on trial here. That's what I'm trying to say. It's good stuff. Um, right? So, so, so here we go. It's it's straight up. No matter the outcome of the case, this is a report. No matter the outcome of the case, the the appeal that could reach the U.S. Supreme Court is anticipated. It could shape the long-standing debate surrounding affirmative action, a landmark policy from 1978 that, that has given most, mostly African-American and Hispanic students an advantage in college application processes. So is this a white guy? I'll just, just for myself, because people will say, oh, he's a white guy. Oh, fucking Conti, he's a white racist. He's a nationalist. <laughs> right? Right? Because, because where's, the, where's the blacks right now in this case? Do I see any black commentators? Do I see any minority commentators arguing on behalf of, of this case where people are discriminated against? I know people died and fought and died in Montgomery. They crossed the bridge for, for, racial, for racial equality. Where are they now? They fucking throw the Asians under the bus, right? Fucking hypocrites, right? So, what's on what's on trial here, right? If this thing hits the Supreme Court, a five-four conservative bench, right? See, it's the Fourteenth Amendment. It allows for affirmative action, right? Because of a decision, Gruder versus Bollinger, two thousand three where O'Connor, Stevens, Scouter, Greensburg, Ginsburg, and Breyer, <laughs> all, the, conser all the, the liberal justices voted uh, in favor, Supreme Court bench, in favor of affirmative action, holding that there was a good reason for minorities to be given certain advantage in academia. So this is the this is the case that's likely to be overturned, right? It's pretty it's pretty heavy, right? But I think the 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 um, I think the takeaway is where where is so Harvard's on trial, but where is the outrage, right? Where is the outrage by the minorities who fought and died in Selma? <laughs> you see the hypocrisy on, on the display here? That people game, it's gaming, they game the system. They're gaming a system for advantage. Black, white, Hispanic, red, purple. I thought it's land of the free, home of the brave. What happened? Now whites are discriminated against. Gotta score higher. Oh, you're smarter. You got white, white privilege. White privilege. Asian privilege. <laughs> Asian privilege. And what is an Asian anyway? There's so many Asian countries. Stupid Americans. Asians block them all into one little pile, right? A fucking Chinese, a Japanese, tai Taiwan, you know. Ta <laughs> all Asians. They're all just Asian. Yeah, they're fucking Asian. People can't even determine, distinguish their Asians. I mean, I live in New York, and I, I could, I, I could hear the three dialects of Chinese now, and I know Japanese when I see one, <laughs> Korean, right? I could, right, but they're all Asian. America, oh fucking all Asian. Everybody's a white. Is a Jew a white? Is a Russian a white? Look, it's time that this shit ends.
This is discrimination in our country. Right? Giving unfair advantage unfairly to people. Right? You know, in my personal experience as a as a white person challenging discrimination in the municipality of New York City. Conti versus the SNY. I challenge that because of my race, white in a 90% black Hispanic environment, I was I was pressured and bullied and buggered and forced to achieve higher and more because you're expected to, you're fucking white. <laughs> I got laughed at. Were my arguments valid? Yeah, statistically, I was they're very valid. But here, in this case of uh, Asian students versus Harvard, the statistics are, are this Wednesday, yesterday, the dean of the school testified that they do, in fact, have a racially biased system of evaluating new students based on SAT scores. And what does it say to black America and Hispanic America? The people that don't stand up for this. You're proud of this? You're proud of your, your, um, your, the advantage that you're getting? And you're going to stay silent on that advantage? Like it doesn't bother you that, that a black student and a Hispanic student achieve certain status and advantage? unfairly over other Americans, you're okay with that, right? President of the United States went to Harvard. Was he given unfair advantage because of his blackness? Damn right he was, because it should have been an Asian guy instead, right? A fucking Asian score high on tests because they're perceived as smarter. There's also another part of it that says that Harvard argued that they use other criteria, that Asians are boring. <laughs> they have other, other criteria. I'm not going to, it's not, it's not, I mean, that's subjective, but statistical, statistically, they're caught dead to right. So affirmative action is now on trial, right? Supreme Court, if they lose, if, if the, if this, federal judge rules against the Asians in any way it's very likely that this is going to go to a Supreme Court decision and rightfully so and that law should be overturned what is it Grutter Gr Gruder versus Bollinger ba <laughs> sorry Bollinger 2003 should be overturned should be reviewed for unconstitutionality unconstitutionality this is America the America I want to live in I want to live in a in a fair and just you know place equality that's that's the we the people to form a more perfect union right that's our, that's our constitutional duty to fight that. So anybody who says that to, to, to speak out about it is to be a racist because they'll say it. It's coming. Gandhi's a racist. Well, whoever speaks out about it, not just me, is a racist because, oh, no, no, fucking slaves. Remember slavery? My, my people, the Italians, are only three, three four generations, and they, they suffered 20 years of abject poverty in the slums of New York City. The Irish, everybody prevail. Everybody who comes to a new country looking for, for a handout has to work for it. But, but we still have affirmative action at NYCHA housing in New York City. 90% black and Hispanic, can't get out of the ghetto. They need that advantage, right? They still need that advantage. 
Are all people created equal? I don't know. You might want to look at that. If people can't, if people can't fend for themselves after being given an affirmative action, then you you might want to look at: Are they capable, or are they equal? That's the issue. My name is Marcus Conti reporting.